so hello everyone this is sai krishna so today i am here to explain you about how to how can we design a multiple track turing machine that performs multiplication so first of all what is multiple track turing machine a multiple track turing machine is a variant of simple turing machine itself but it cons consists of multiple tapes with single head pointer as we can see here we have multiple tapes that is multiple tracks with single head pointer as we have only a single head pointer the direction in all tracks changes together and we can read and write in all tracks at the same time here a single tape head reads n symbol from n tracks at one step it accepts recursively innumerable languages like normal single track single tape turing machine accepts so coming back to the question multiple track turing machine to perform multiplication so here we use three tracks to perform multiplication and we perform multiplication by repeated addition that if, if if our aim is to multiply m with n we add m n times that is what multiplication is so we use track 1 to store m value track 2 to store n value and we use track 2 as a counter and track 3 we use to we use track 3 to store the result initially we, we will be placing zero in track 3 followed by blanks so step one is to place m in track one step two is to place n in track two followed by blanks and if we have zero in track either if we have zero in track one or track two we place zero in track three also or else we update the value in track three that is t3 is equals to t3 plus t1 and we update the value in track 2 as t2 is equal to t2 minus 1 that is we will decrement it by 1 and we perform it until we get a z until we get 0 in track 2 when we get 0 in track 2 we will stop it and we at that time we also we will also get the result in track 3 so let us take an example if we want to multiply 5 with 3 so we will take m is equals to 5 n is equals to 3 step 1 is to place m that is 5 in track 1 so step 2 we will place n in track 2 followed by blanks and we place 0 initially in track 3 followed by blanks and remind you that track 3 we will be using track 3 to store the result so initially the, fi the final controller points to 530 Initially, we don't make any change in first column and we move rightward. So now, we update the track 2 value as track 2 is equal to track 2 minus 1. That is, uh, initial, um, initially we have 3 over here. So we update the value in next column with track 2 is equal to track 2 minus 1. That is, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So we will update it with 2. And we update the value in track 3 with t3 is equal to 3 t t3 plus t1 that is 0 plus 5 is equal to 5 so we have done the changes now the final controller points to uh, just goes right so now we update the value in track 2 as track 2 minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so we will update it, it with 1 so the value in track 3 now changes as 10 that is t3 is equal to t3 plus t1 5 plus 5 that is 10 so we have made the changes the one of so so we have made the changes so the so now the final controller moves right now we will change the value in track 2 as t2 minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and the value in track 3 up will be get updated as 15 as t3 equals to t3 plus t1 10 plus 5 equals to 15 as you can see we have got 0 in track 2 so we'll be, we will stop this and you can also see we have got 15 as the result in track in track 3 so let us not draw the diagram for it initially we will be in initial set v0 by taking 530 as input and we will be having 530 as output also because we are not changing it and we move rightward 
to go to Q1 state. So from Q1, we read 5 BB as input, we change it to 5 to 5 as we discussed earlier and move rightward to go to Q2 state. From Q2, we take 5 BB as input, we update it with 5, 1, 10 and move rightward to go to Q3 state. And from Q3, we take 5 BB as input, we update it with 5, 0, 15 and move rightward as we have got 0 here. This is a now we will go to final state that is acceptance state. So this is our diagram. So now let us draw a transition table for the above diagram. So first first of all we will write the available states. So so now let us draw a transition table for the above diagram. So first of all we have Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 states. Q4 is our final state. So that we are mentioning an asterisk before it. We have input symbols as 530, 5BB. As we can see here from Q0 state we take 530 as input. We don't change anything. So our output symbols are also 530 and we move rightward to go to Q1 state. So from Q0 we take 530 as input, we go to Q1. So from Q1, we take 5BB as input, we change it to 525 and move rightward to go to Q2 state. So here it is. So for Q2, we take 5BB as input, we change the 5BB as 5110 and move rightward to go to Q3. So from Q3, we take 5BB as input, we change it to 5015 and move rightward to go to our final state q4 so here it is this is the transition table for the above diagram thank you